So uh, basically we're out here right now and I am about to mount a tire carrier. Now this is the same swing out that LR, uh, Lafemme LR3 has. And when she bought hers, it actually came with the tire carrier see there but mine did not um, it was at, that tire carrier was actually centered so we moved it over to the right so there was more room for the accessory box right there so I had been on a search for a tire carrier it was like $190 to get the tire carrier for this thing and I thought yeah you know what I could probably find something for cheap that I can uh, actually get on here so I was searching offer up and I just found this uh, smitty bit smitty built uh, Jeep unit here that didn't have the full swing out, but you know, for 30 bucks, the bracket is already there. And this is probably something that I can use maybe on here to add more accessories. I do plan on probably putting outboard air, uh, maybe a CO2 tank um, and the high lift jack and probably the max tracks back here. So this swing out is gonna house a lot and the thing is is this is a jeep pattern here five bolt and we need to make it five bolt um tundra pattern five by 150. so i just marked out uh where i gotta drill a couple of holes and then figure out how to get this thing mounted on here again we're gonna do it off center so um have to figure out how to get it on there first and then reinforce it because this is a pretty hefty 35 inch tire all right, so this is the Franken bumper, basically my method rim and my works triads, whatever. I don't care, they're both black um, and it's better to run a spare than not run a spare. So anyways, uh, as, I, as you saw from my previous uh, section in the video, I was showing that I had a uh, Smitty built bumper bracket that I was gonna use to mount that. So I actually had to fabricate a method to secure that so I welded these two pieces here that are holding that and it's completely adjustable um, and it is on there super solid it is off center just because we needed to be able to put the other stuff on there and that other stuff being the high lift jack and co2 now this bracket that you see here just happened to be again sitting in a pile of stuff that I had and it's actually oops Sorry about that, guys. My battery just died on my gimbal, so I'm gonna have to hold it here. My, it's actually the winch tray from Lafrem LR3s because it got cut out and was not being used. So it had ended up, ended up being this cool little quarter inch solid bracket here that's holding all this stuff on. Uh, as I mentioned before, how was I gonna mount this high lift jack here? And these little doodads, if you guys have ever actually taken apart your rear bumper, know that this is actually the uh, bracket that hold, or the bolt that hold, holds in those big ass um, uh, weights that are at the back of your chassis, which I removed because they wouldn't work with the, this bumper. So there they are, just a really cool standoff and bolt that fits perfectly and holds that super securely to my whole entire system and that is basically the whole Franken system of this rear swing out now again to recap this is a Hanson JK Jeep bumper with a swing out and again the swing out did not have the uh, the Hanson tire carrier so I took a Smitty built tire holder bolted it on there, welded on the brackets to hold it, and a winch tray to hold the rest of this stuff. And again, it really doesn't get any more Frankenstein than that. It really doesn't. But is it held on there solidly? solidly and is it doing its job? Hell yeah, it is. Uh, $300 for the bumper, $35 for the uh, tire carrier, and the bracket was whatever, a piece cut off from LaFemme's winch tray and there we are almost complete now i've got to get onto my rack 
that's on the top of here. I still haven't figured that out, but it's somehow going to happen. So anyways, there's the Franken Frank bumper that's almost pretty much 100% complete. Hope you guys like it.